there. Welcome to day 64 of our All About You 365 Day Challenge. To do one thing every day that centers you and me in this little journal book, do one thing every day that centers you. Yesterday we started the, and did the first part of a two-part sayings day. Grab my magnifying glass. Let's see what it has to say. It says, make it a point to do something every day that you don't want to do. This is the golden rule for acquiring the habit of doing your duty without pain. This was said by Mark Twain, and it, it kind of tweaked me the first time I read it. I'm like, really? Do we have to do things we don't want to do? Yes. Do we want to do them without pain? How do we make that happen in our life? So yesterday we talked about an unwanted duty that we did for the first time, and we looked at how did it make us feel. So I started keto yesterday, and how it made me feel, and it's my duty to take care of myself and my health, right? Whether I want to or not. And I don't like to diet or eat a certain way. I've got habits and things that I've fallen into, especially during COVID-19. And I realized, mm, not going in the direction I want to go, so I need to make some changes. And so I thought, well, everybody's talking about this keto and intermittent fasting thing. I will look into it. I will start today. So I started yesterday. How did I feel? My face is breaking out. I kind of had a headache. I felt like I was that stinky and sweaty, but that'll all change as I get into the habit and routine of eating in a different style. So what's our challenge today? Our challenge today says an unwanted duty I did today that has become a habit. So one thing you might be able to hear is I've got the dryer going in the background. I learned to do laundry a little bit every single day with my family. I had two kids and they were very active kids. And so we always had a plethora of laundry. And I learned that if I did a little bit every morning, I threw a load in the wash, that load in the dryer every morning and then every night after work or after going to my business, I would stay on top of it. And I would never have that big pile of laundry that never seemed to get done. So I did laundry today. I also do online videos first thing in the morning every day and it's become a habit. I think today I looked and I've got 4,119 episodes of my podcast and like at least 4,157 videos that I track in my little books. These little numbers are to keep track of what video I'm on for each different type of series that I'm doing. So uh, it's just become a habit. It's my way of showing up and hopefully adding some value to the world. But it's my way of, of um, contributing and moving forward. Plus, it's my way of continually improving something about myself that I want to improve. And I like to bring people right along with me. So our challenge today says, what is an unwanted duty that you've been doing consistently and it's now become a habit? Maybe it's something as simple as brushing your teeth three times a day instead of twice a day. Maybe it's something as simple as prepping food ahead of time. Whatever it is, share in the comments below so we can learn from you too. And how do you feel about that thing? Has it become less painful? Laundry, I used to hate doing laundry before I got into a routine and a practice of doing it automatically. And now that it's automatic, I don't even think about it. It doesn't create any negative tension or drama or upset in me whatsoever. I actually kind of like doing it. So it's not really painful at all. And that's our intent is to take something that it's our duty, it's our responsibility to do it and keep up with it or do something on a continuous basis. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's paying bills in a certain way or maybe it's setting your bills up on automatic payment out of your bank account so you don't have to think about them or worry about them or be concerned about them or spend any time and energy on them. There's all kinds of things and ways that you could do this and express this that would make you feel better. The whole point is to reduce pain and make us feel better in some way, shape, or form. That's it. Have an amazing day, and I'll, of course, see you tomorrow for another little excerpt from Do One Thing Every Day that centers you. Have a great day.